Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another great evolution in SBC content day yesterday on FC24. It's safe to say Ultimate Birthday has been one of the better promos we have had this entire year from everything that has gone on inside of it. And I think we really just have to be in the mindset of we got to enjoy it while it lasts. With that being said, I want to look forward to today on Monday, a big player SBC that is one a lot of us might need for our teams could be coming out. And we have another big SBC leaked to come later on. I want to talk about that and even the promo that we're going to see next after this as we look towards the end of the week in today's video a little bit. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content. There wasn't a whole lot yesterday for a Sunday, to be honest. We've had bigger Sunday content days before. We did have the Icon SBC that we were expecting with the Haji SBC. And uh, the price is the best part about this one, guys. It is a nice five-star, five-star Haji card with Finesse Plus and Dead Ball Plus. But again, he's five-star, five-star, and he's only 500,000 coins for a player who's got really, really good stats. An Icon card that I think most people wouldn't think to use super often he's usually a cheaper icon but i think this is the most usable version of him that we've seen in a while like the finesse plus in this card is going to be really really nice um he's got 94 shot power 93 long shots and yeah it's only eight squads which once you take away the bronze the silver and the 81 rated which are super easy to get done you've got 86 286s 287s and an 88 that seems like a piece of cake compared to some of the other ones from recent times so i think this is a nice card if you want to do a 5-5 icon sbc for a player that uh is going to be pretty good in game he is he does have some other good play styles but it's that finesse plus for me um also he has technical which is not bad but just a very very solid well-rounded card i don't know if it's going to be one that i'm going to prioritize right away since there's so many other player species out that i think i'm going to do ahead of him but if that's of interest to you very nice card for the craftable price of 500k and only five squads if you count it that way um and we also yesterday had our upgrade SBC with the Encore Hero Player Pick, which we can only do two times a day. I don't know, with a name like the Encore Hero Player Pick, I thought it was going to be like the Encore Icon Pack that we could do unlimited times when that came out. But this is unfortunately not the same way. But again, it does give us the opportunity to pack Fantasy FC Hero Players, which are the most recent heroes in this game. So it's the best two versions, UCL and Fantasy. But guys, I get the feeling, and I think you feel this way too, uh, just the hero upgrade packs this year heroes in this game in general unless you've hit one of the top three or four are just they're just not it i mean i mean there's icons in this year's game that people are putting in their teams for sure way ahead of these heroes it just seems like the icons this year are clear the upgrade packs are clear the sbcs for the players are clear everything icon related this year is so clear of the heroes i wish it was a little bit cheaper since again it's that encore type of pack which kind of has us thinking once again about the icon encore pack that was out but nonetheless it is 270,000 coins to complete from scratch the 287 and then the 86 rated squads putting it at about 270,000 coins i don't think it's worth the fodder in my opinion if you're going to try to go for a huge fantasy fc hero i mean there's a chance there but i would rather put that into player spcs right now with all the player spcs that are out i have committed to doing the aurelian shua many sbc uh before ribbery because i was like you know what this card's going to be more unique more rare and i was like of all the cards that have been released so far this is one of the most elite ones. Yes, it's expensive, but with that being said, we're getting a ton of upgrade packs in the next couple of days from objectives, which is going to make this craft a whole lot easier. 84 times fives are out. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for something crazy here. Um, I did the Nkunku SBC last year, which was pretty crazy, but it ended up being insane. I'm hoping this true many card can be good for me as well. So I did commit to that SBC yesterday so in sbcs it was quiet right of course you have all the daily refreshes of the 84.5 the daily login which i have not done yet i need to do that was there as well but one of the big pieces of content was actually one of the best evolutions that we've had during this entire promo with all the evils that have been dropped they've been good but this one this one might be the best one it, it's up there especially for the free evos as they come it was the silky center half evo guys is the one that was dropped yesterday um the best part of it it is free and it gives the block plus play style and how many games play three win two win three uh, easy piece of cake 
to get this one done. And of course, it's a center back that doesn't just get a five star weak foot upgrade, you also get a five star skill move upgrade. And it's a CB that must not be center defensive mid. So they really want you only here to upgrade a center back. There are some other requirements in here, and there's a lot of players that are going up in price. It's kind of the opposite of yesterday, right? Players are going up in price for this Evo because it's genuinely an insane Evo. This, how's this Kasono card go? 87 rated, what other play styles we have? Okay, you know, for me, this is a free Evo where it, even if you don't have somebody that you really wanna get evolved from this, try to find an 86 rated center back that you can just play a few games with and all of a sudden have 91 rated fodder. I think that's genuinely something that uh, is worth thinking about on this game at this stage if you're crafting a big SBC. That is something to think about as a part of it. So just a few games to play and you get yourself a nice center back card. How does this Ben Sabiani look? I don't know if there's any other center backs in my club. You see, there's not very many play styles there. That's, that's the one thing about this Evo is I want to make sure that if I'm putting somebody into this, they have good play styles. I haven't done a Saliba Evo all year. I don't know how good... Actually, that's a decent Saliba Evo, but only one play style plus an 88 rated. I probably won't be able to upgrade it much in the future. So I don't know who I'm going to put into this, but I'm definitely going to put somebody into it because it is free. It's a five-star, five-star center back, which is just kind of fun and cool. And uh, yeah, you do get block plus, which is nice. Now, from all the center backs, this is what I was literally just doing to find a good center back to put into this. I was going into foot.gg and I searched evolve players. And you guys know me. I'm not the biggest gameplay buff, right? But anticipate play style is a must. If I'm evoing somebody in this, it needs to be somebody who has anticipate play style. This Ledley King looks pretty solid. Um, Araujo, another another Evo for some of these base gold cards that still makes them look pretty juice with the plus five upgrade that you get. Some of the cards that have gone insane on the market are the most popular ones, like Varan is still extinct. Varan's Inform actually went extinct as well because this is a card that fits the Evo, just his simple plus one. He's got Anticipate plus, and then he gets the Block plus, and he goes to five star, five star, which is crazy. But this card yesterday went from like 160k, I think all the way up to extinct at 320,000 coins. Yeah, 160 to 320, he is extinct and not on the market because everybody wants a special version of Varan. And of course, the gold Varan is extinct too because he fits into two Evos right now. Uh, I think also that maybe one of the best cards in this Evo would be this Jurian Timber. 89 dribbling and 5-star, five 5-star five with high, high work rates would be a really good card to put in. He does not have Anticipate, so that would kind of go against what I like to see with that. Um, but yeah, check your club for what center backs may be able to be put in this. Also, if you pack like a Jules Kunde this week, that's uh, that's 12,000 coins for you. He is up on the market as well. And again, like I started to mention earlier, this is the complete opposite, in my opinion, uh, of yesterday, right? These cards are going up because this is a free Evo that is actually actually good. This is genuine demand for a good Evo, right? That's why some of these prices are going up like crazy. The 250,000 coin Evo, which I actually ended up putting a player into and spending 250k, uh, prices were going up on some of those cards just because they were very, very rare. And a lot of those prices like didn't stay super inflated. Some of them have come down. Even on uh, just to throw out the example, I'm a little surprised to see how much the 90 rated Muhammad Salah has come down in value. Yesterday, last night, he was like 700k and he tanked down to 440. Um, now back up to 480k. I think, and I forgot to mention this in yesterday's video, I think there was actually an issue with the tricky Ricardo evolution where on the console it shows as a four star, four star as like the requirement uh, to put into it. But on the companion app, it says four star, three star. And that was one of the reasons why I already submitted this Alessandrini into the Evo. Because guys, Alessandrini was going to be coming out of this as a five star, five star player. And it actually makes him eligible, my specific Alessandrini, for another Evo that he didn't fit before because he gets a play style plus. So this is kind of a crazy, I feel like I'm breaking the system here with this Alessandrini. So I'll talk about that more on stream tomorrow. That's a really dope card that I'm excited for. But that Evo yesterday, of course, the silky center half absolutely insane evo it's free either either it's free fodder for you or it's a player that is very nice and upgradable to potentially go into a team or to go into an evo or not an evo squad sorry a squad for the cup it's something to think about too if you're going to evolve somebody it's maybe only going to get to 88 rated that'd just be a great player to put into the cup side of things that you can try out in game uh this week a little bit extra as well with a decent place to be 
putting those into practice. Now let's talk about the re-release that was dropped yesterday as well. There's a lot of full birthday cards in packs once again, man. And really what they dropped is just more fodder, to be honest. Forsberg, Bashiroto, Forsberg's got two different items. I actually think this might be a really fun card to try. He's got technical and finesse plus. What a combo. And uh, he's also got incisive, long ball, tiki taka, and he's only 12,000 coins. I know he's got MLS links, Sweden links, not the best, only 84 pace, but that playstyle combination for playstyle pluses is nuts. Uh, this might be one of the best cards out of the mini release yesterday. Mares with technical plus and 5-5 five, five, with 93 dribbling. He's got finesse, pain pass, press proven, relentless, flare, chip shot. That might be a really fun card. He's probably going to end up being cheaper than 100k, but that's a fun one. Also, Casemiro is probably the big one from yesterday. Uh, to me, this card does not look very good. Um, I mean, he looks decent. He looks decent, right? Long ball and bruiser, but 500k is very steep, in my opinion, for this card. Even though he is 5-5 with two stats in the 90s. That could be a really nuts center back. What's his work rates? Um, medium high. That could be a really nuts center back um, if you want to move him there in game. So that's a decent one. And then other than that, um, Larson's pretty cheap. Hugo Sanchez with the double release version as well. 345,000 coins, power shot, and rapid. Um, how big of an upgrade is that? Plus three pace over his winter wild card. So not going to complain about that one at all either. Aerial, acrobatic, power header, dead ball, flare. So a decent card to try out there. So a solid mini release, not anything super crazy, more fodder in Hegerberg and Laren as well, or maybe a fun card to try out if you, those appeal to you. But that was yesterday's content. Bit of a quieter day for sure, but I think it's, it's good that we take a step back. Guys, with all this content in this game right now, take a step back and just realize the scenario that we are in. We've been dissecting content every day. We've been looking at all this stuff and like, a lot of it has been like, if you think on it, it's been insane. And I know a lot, I'm not certain sitting here just trying to say that, you know, EA is the best ever, but I think we just need to give some credit where credit is due and realize the situation that we are in. This content right here is probably the best content we are going to see on this game until team of the season for like, this is the best promo until team of the season for sure. A hundred percent. In my opinion, I think this is a great week to kind of take advantage of that and soak it in, right? With all of the great, honestly, it starts with the gameplay. Not the gameplay is amazing, but with all the ways we can grind the game this week with the cup, all the packs that you can get from that. Whether you, even if you're like nominated, I don't want to pack for birthdays. Just do these objectives and start a team of the season pack save if that's something that motivates you. But this cup being out is cool. The rivals of rewards that we're now going to want to try to get every single week. Those are great rewards for packs this week or maybe to save if you're going to go crazy like that. And then kind of involved with gameplay, of course, is the evolutions. We haven't had evolutions this crazy and moving the power curve. Like all of these evos with the five stars, skill moves, and weak foot upgrades. Yes, some of them are pretty expensive and not worth it, but other ones are free and absolutely worth it. Like the birthday magic, two-footed attack, and then silky center half that we had yesterday. Absolutely insane Evos uh, that push the power curve and give you really, really nice cards. We have not had Evos like this since Winter Wild Cards, in my opinion. So again, crazy Evos there. The objectives, so many packs there. I just went from, I just claimed eight packs from objectives from playing like seven squad battles games while not paying attention at all. Like just letting it run, clicking X through, you know, like that. So easy to get some of those packs, right? And then also the SBCs. The player SBCs have been a little expensive, but we've gotten big meta boosts on these cards that are going into our... We talked about that a couple days ago, right? These SBCs are good enough to go straight into our teams, and that was the problem that we had for promos for the last, like, two or three months on this game. After Team of the Year was, stuff just wasn't good enough to get into our teams. But the Shamani that came out, um, you know, Kings of the Coman, definitely meant enough to go in the squads. Quadrado, you know, kind of that Grimaldo, a great budget priced SBC. And then the icons, right? All the insane icons that we have had we've had the socrates the carlos makalele ribery haji so many insane icon sbcs to be crafting and grinding all the while with the 84 5 the player picks that are out it really just is a really really good ground on this game right now so i would say if you have the ability to take advantage of it this week take advantage of the grind of this game and enjoy it because i really do believe that this is going to be the best content we will have on this game until team of the season which is probably around a month away could be a little bit less but we're probably looking at three to four weeks probably four weeks away uh from now is the beginning of team of the season so 
that's kind of my, my spiel. I guess the point of today's video is I wanted to tell you, like, if you are not feeling the grind, like, find something that's going to get you involved right now to want to play this game, even if it's not gameplay related, because it just feels like right now is one of the better times to be on this game, opening packs, doing the gameplay, and everything else, because the content is just flat out great. It is it is insane. This is a top this is a top promo of the year. I don't know how I would rate it. It's not over yet, but this is a top promo of the year 100%. Now, I do want to look into today as well because we're going to get another SBC today that a lot of people I think are going to have interest in crafting and that is going to be we've had so many left back SBCs, right? Today we're actually getting a right back. Yeah, let's open this 844 and then get into the right back conversation. No for birthday. I really wanted a foot birthday. I'm still hunting for that high-rated fodder for sure. Many, I'll take Asaka, and then the rest 84s are just mid. But today's Reese James, guys. And uh, when I saw this was coming out on Friday of last week, at the end of the week, when we got this post from EA, I was like, wow, okay, this Reese James is going to be really, really good, and he's going to be hyped. He's, there's a lot of expectation because it's Reese James for him to be good. This card, this Dynasty's item, is a really, really good card. Heck, I used gold Reese James at the start of the year, and he was crazy for a gold card at the start of the year. And uh, the play styles that he has are solid. They're going to have to add some more on him for sure. With pass bruiser, first touch, and play style plus for Jackie, they're going to give him a 5-star weak foot or a 5-star skills. It's not a twin SBC. So he's only going to have one SBC that gets dropped today. I would rather have the five-star weak foot, if I'm being completely honest, for a defender. Um, they could give him a five-star five-star. That would be pretty crazy. I can't imagine this one's going to be cheap, though, guys. I'm, maybe we're looking at a quadrato type of again, upgrade. Maybe he goes plus one or hopefully he goes plus two to a 90 rated card. And I wouldn't mind it if he's around 500,000 coins for this SBC, because that would be a right back that a lot of us would say, if you give this card a plus two, you go 92, 93 pace, you're talking high eighties, passing, dribbling, defending, and physical all above 86. That's a really good boost. Even your shooting goes above 80 with that sort of boost. Maybe they give him anticipate play style. They keep him with whipped pass plus as well. Uh, maybe with jockey. That could be a really, really insane card. He plays very well in game. His individual stats are great as well. This could be a really, really good SBC that is like a staple as a right back in your team. I know a lot of us maybe have Cafu. Um, I've been running Pedro Poro, who I call the budget Cafu, right? Like this card is insane, but you know, this card could definitely be upgraded by an SBC for Reese James today. So that sort of thing is what I'm watching out for. Cause I think that might be a right back that a lot of us would be able to look at our club and say, Hmm, for the price, this is maybe one worth crafting. What are the right backs do I have? I have Cafu. Um, it's Cafu, Quadrado, Diakite. I don't have, man, my right back spot's a little bit mid. Oh, yeah, the Kyle Walker, my club legend, right? Even if you're still running a card like this, which this one I've played so many games with, this, this Reese James today could be very nice, right? We have way less right backs than we do left backs, and I think he's going to be very, very needed. I don't think I'm going out and investing in anything Premier League Chelsea links wise for this, to be completely honest. I think I would just be waiting to see what the price of the SBC is. I have not watched the market super closely all weekend. So prices for some of these cards I've seen have dropped. Um, but I'm not like, you know, like Mudrick. I don't think I'm going to go buy Mudrick today because, oh my goodness, Reese James is coming out. Mudrick is rare and he's down, now down below 500,000 coins. He could have a little bit of a rise today, but I wouldn't think it's a guarantee. I haven't even looked at Mudrick's price today. Um, well, okay. He is down, down 50 K that does seem very low. Yesterday he was 640. He's been around 500,000 and now he's like 495. So yeah, maybe some of these cards go up today a little bit into Monday, but recently on Mondays, it's been only the really, really rare ones that have moved. And, um, like I remember last week trading with some cards from foot birthday team one on Monday, like Sasha Bowie was super duper rare. And he went from 260k up to like 350,000 coins but that's just because he was crazy rare and in demand um and i think some of that could happen today with birthday team too but i don't think i'm gonna put too many coins into it wow that Goretzka is way cheaper than he was before uh like i these prices wow the young is 1.4 so i guess if you've been watching one of these and you're like nate one of these that i'm really watching is very rare and there's not very many of them on the market. That could be a move. Same thing with maybe an icon or two. If they're really rare, like this Raul, I'm sure that he's rare. 1.7 mil. He's down a lot from yesterday. He started the day at 2 mil, went down to 1.7. He's, oh, he was already 1.9 just a couple hours ago. Now he's 1.7 again. So yeah, you know there's rarity there. So I would watch some of those cards. Uh, but I wouldn't expect them to go crazy today. I think they would maybe have a little bit of a higher rate rise on the market. 
as we get into Tuesday after weekly rewards get paid out. Now, a part of the content today I'm also very interested in is what's going to happen with the 81 plus player pick. I don't want to get rid of this thing, man. This 81 plus player pick has been insane the last week. Some people are saying it's been nerfed for them. I've also heard rumors that the foot birthday pack weight on team two here has not been as good as team one. And I have not opened many packs. That's going to change today. Um, I did pack Gioro from an 84 times five yesterday. So I did hit a nice card, not an insane card. Um, but the big thing with this is I know we have the 80 or we have the crafting upgrade that is still available right now, but are they going to re-release a player pick today too? Will they give us the 80 plus player pick back? That is the money player pick that only requires six golds, one rare. If we have that one back today, then we're truly cooking for the rest of this week for the kind of the finale of ultimate birthday, if you will, ending out these last few days before we get into whatever, what, what the promo is that is next, which we do believe we know. Uh, can't turn in Gio Reyna. What a game from him tonight. USA winning against Mexico 2-0. Um, just had to throw that in there. But also, um, I really hope the 80-plus player pick comes back today um, in replacement of this 81-plus because the two rare golds or the two golds less you have to turn into it is fantastic. And this is what unlocks the crafting grind. These picks are not so good. All right, last one, nose pick for the luck. Come on, give me a walkout. Something, yeah, I only get 83s. But I still like these player picks. I'm going to grind them until they are gone. And if they are gone, I guess we're looking at doing the... The crafting upgrade because the 80 plus is not around anymore right the 80 plus went away so yeah it's the crafting upgrade if that goes away which i really hope that it doesn't i think also one quick shout is we're getting rewards every single day for the daily login if you've kept up with it today is going to be day 13 84 5 tomorrow 85 3 and then wednesday we will all get it done with an 85 times 4 if you didn't miss any days 85 times 4 and the 8320. That's why I started Shua Many, because you have so much fodder incoming just for logging into the game the next couple of days on this game as well. So I absolutely love that. Now, a couple more things. We're going to go into like a little bit of a leak segment here. There's a th there's three leaks that I want to talk about heading into today. Not all these things are going to come out today, but it's more so looking into the rest of the week. First one is another Evo. I guess we're not done with the evolutions just yet. This one is one of those take a really low rated player and give them a pretty sizable boost and make them usable. Looks like we're going for silvers this time around. Maximum overall 74. It cannot be a midfielder. No playstyle pluses. And this player is going to end up getting five star skill moves, first touch plus and technical plus. So it seems like this would be suited perfectly for a striker or some sort of attacker, especially because there's a minimum on the shooting um, and a maximum on the pace. So like they're trying to get you to upgrade somebody who is kind of a striker like this Joao Pedro shown here. The stat boost is not known. But a five-star skill boost, probably a weak foot boost as well, will be very nice. Maybe it's like plus one to the weak foot. Um, and then those two playstyle pluses will be very nice for a striker. So what I would tell you to do is, if you're trying to figure out what striker might be good in this, look at the strikers that are in your club or from your favorite club that you like to um, do evos from. Try to find one with a lot of playstyles, right? The playstyles are the key to unlocking these like silver cards and bronze cards and making them better in game and giving them juiced upgrades is if they have a lot of existing play styles that's going to help them play so much better in games so that's just one thing to look for um, especially if it's from a player from a big club um, you know they're going to go up on the market i'm sure this draw pedro and some of these other cards here have already started to go up like rudder as well but look for somebody that you'd be interested in evoing up from there that could be big and then we have another big player of the month sbc that is incoming guys Vinny jr According to Foot Sheriff, this is like Foot Sheriff's first leak in like a week, man. The guy kind of fell off, but now he's back. I don't know. Um, we have a leak for Vinny winning Player of the Month. His SBC should come this week, which usually I believe Player of the Month's for La Liga have been coming on Thursdays or I think it's Fridays actually Thursday or Friday so we might not see this SBC till the end of the week but that will be yet again another big SBC we haven't had a Vinny SBC all year he has gotten some special cards but they're all really expensive and on the market and I don't even think that his gold card has been able to be evolved yet so this would be our first opportunity to do an SBC for Vinny coming in like the end of March of this year which is kind of crazy but that's something to watch out for because a lot of people will want to do that and it's going to have high rated squads in it and it could make high rated fodder continue to rise. And if we take a look at high rated fodder, which we haven't done yet in today's video, what are we looking at? 84s, 5s, and 6s are in the mud. 
kind of as expected. 86 is not as much as fours and fives. Um, 80, 88s are, wow, okay, 15K. That's really low. 89s are 27K, so they're slowly going up. I think actually some of this fodder took a bit of a heat check yesterday. 46K for De Bruyne. That's down a little. Wasn't Weren't these all 50K? Yeah, so they took a little bit of a heat check. Um, especially, I think, the 88s did because I could have swore those were 17K. Maybe they weren't. Yeah, they were 17K. And then I guess with squad battle rewards, that's what made that go down early Sunday. Then they kind of went back up. Maybe if you hop on some bids for this fodder, it could be good. They'll probably dip again a little bit at um, foot champs rewards Tuesday early because we get the delayed rewards now and then, right? Nowadays. So... I don't know. Fodder for me is I'm not going to invest in it right now, although a lot of signs are pointing towards fodder going up. The, the cards that I wanted to invest in for like the Vinny SBC and for all the other big SBCs are out like Ribery and Shuameni, it's the 90s and 91s. I think if you didn't invest on the weekend um, when those were like low, like we're talking sub 40k or around 42 to 43 for the 91s and like 30k ish for the 90s, it's uh, yeah, I think your profit margins there are not going to be that great. I just don't know how much further it's going to go up like in the short term, unless you ride it out for a longer term play and we keep getting SBCs. We'll just have to see. So that's kind of the situation on the fodder market right now uh, with that Vinny that is leaked. And that should be coming later on. I wonder if we'll get a EA content tweet today as well, because we didn't get one last Monday of like, here's what's coming in Ultimate Team. But there are so many things that they still have to fix. There's so many compensation things that are uh, looming at the moment, especially giving out all those coins back to people um, that they haven't done yet. So we'll wait and see what they have to do with that and if they get around to tweeting that out today, which they might not because there is a lot of work to do on that front for them. Last thing, what's coming this Friday? Evidently, it's not Trophy Titans, guys, but it looks Trophy Titans related. This next promo of uh, what we're expecting to see on Ultimate Team Next is called Golasso. And it is a Heroes and Icons promo. Um, according to Foot Scoreboard, the, those have been added to the code. And that is the name of the code or of the card designs added in the code. It does look like Trophy Titans. This design, it for sure does. Maybe it's just not called Trophy Titans this year, but it is only Heroes and Icons. Kind of like that promo was last year. That would shake up things a little bit, and that would make things pretty interesting. But we'll talk about that more later on in the week as we get more information. Again, this will be a big test week for the leaks. I mean, for the players that we expect to see, um, you know, leaked and all that sort of stuff. We didn't have that recently, so we'll see if we actually do get some of that information here pretty soon or are leaks actually starting to fizzle out in terms of promo cards and promo players that we expect to see in packs that we haven't heard a lot about from leaks in terms of Sheriff and Romania and all those guys on Twitter recently, especially with Ultimate Birthday. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. Let's have a great week in this game. Get the grind out. I got to get some gameplay in. I've been playing squad battles. I got to get some cup going, some rivals going, and I got to get some SBC craft going as well. It's going to be a good week. Good chance to pack some Ultimate Birthdays and good time to be crafting on this game with the content being as good as it is. So let's enjoy it while it's here. If you guys did enjoy, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the Count. Peace out.